GCB gang, we out here in nature. Everybody, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All the returning users, hit that like button and hit that share button. It's Drew Tube, God's chosen vessel, where we came to bring you more and never lesser. We out here in nature getting these good vibes today. And we came here to bring y'all another motivational uh, video to help uplift you with some more positive motivational content. So everybody, I need you to do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And you're going to want to watch this video to the very end of the video. Because as always, I always got something special for y'all, man. I always got something in the knapsack for my chosen vessels, man. I always got a new video. I always got some more content. I know as of lately, uh, I haven't been uploading. I was going through some family uh, things. But now everything's back to its regularly scheduled programming. So without that being said, here we go. All right. Today we're here to discuss chosen vessels the universal law of vibration and how it applies to your world and how it affects your life okay all right with that being said the law of vibration right is the foundation of the law of attraction the law of vibration is the foundation of the law of attraction everything is energy all right science shows you that everything is energy the law of vibration states Everything is governed by the laws of vibration. Everything moves and everything vibrates, even objects that appear to be still. All right. Everything vibrates at one frequency or the other. Everything vibrates at a high frequency or it vibrates at a low frequency. Stuff that's that's dead, stuff that's not moving, uh, tree limbs, um, house material. That's like low frequency stuff, tables, chairs, stuff that's not going nowhere, but with the unseen eye, you wouldn't be able to tell it's moving, but it's still actually vibrating just at its own frequency. Then you got the higher level stuff, birds, humans, uh, animals, dogs, pets, all that stuff, stuff that's moving, stuff that's alive, trees, birds, bugs, all that stuff. Everything that is alive, that's the higher level frequency stuff, okay? Stuff that produces life, that's a higher level frequency. People that speak life, higher level frequency. Things that produce death, people that speak death, low level frequency the news low level frequency drew to high level frequency okay not saying all the stuff but some of the stuff that they talk about on the news are about a lower level of frequency and some of those things aren't good for you to be letting into your spirit because it's going to make you fearful and that's going to lower your vibration fear lowers your vibration love hires your vibration all right the unified field of energy is an ocean of energy we are all connected in okay the unified field of energy is an ocean that we are all connected we are all connected to each other we're all one and we're all one and connected through the ocean of energy we're not separated we are connected with the things around us and we are submerged in that connection that ocean of energy okay that's why jesus said i and my father are one that's why frankie beverly amaze made that song we are one we are one. We are connected. We're connected with the universe. We're connected with God. We're connected with um, Jesus. We're connected with the sun, moon, stars, all that. Okay. Everything has its own vibrational frequency. All right. So we're all connected in that ocean of energy. Right. And everything has its own vibrational frequency. All of it is governed by the law of vibration. That's why you have things on the higher vibration and you have things on the lower vibration. Everything has its own frequency. All right. The things that appear to be still, right? Things appear to be still, but they still from the law of vibration. We know that nothing is still and everything vibrates. Everything has movement. Just like I was saying, the chairs, all that stuff. This is an illusion. This is a fake world that we live in. The Mayans called it the Maya, the illusion. Things appear as they seem, but the things appear to be one way, but it's not the way it seems. Things appear to be still. Things appear to be not moving, but the things are moving. And that ocean of energy, you can't see that. But when you, if you saw the matrix, those grids, the energy grids, that's the ocean of energy, which makes us all connected. You can't see it, but it's definitely, most definitely there. All right. And no nothing is still. Everything vibrates and has movement. Objects are only creating an illusion that they are appearing to be still and not moving. OK, you think these things like the trees behind me, you think they're still, but they're moving. They're vibrating at their own rate. You can't see it. 
but the people that take the peyote and the mushrooms, all that stuff, the people who take those natural hallucinogenics, like the shamans and all that stuff, they see that type of stuff. So it's like the stuff is real. It's just that you can't see it with the unseen eye. You have to see it with a spiritual eye. Objects are only creating an illusion. This world is the illusion. That's why it's called the matrix. The matrix means the illusion. The law of vibration is real. Even though you cannot see it, it does not mean that it does not apply to this world. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it does not apply. Just because you can't see God doesn't mean it's not real. But if you look out in nature, you can most definitely see that God is real, okay? We vibrate and send towers transmitting our thoughts and feelings into the universe all the time, all right? We vibrate and send towers of energy transmitting our thoughts and feelings into the universe all the time. You're like a radio station by yourself. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, you're sending those thoughts out into the universe, okay? If you're sending out to the universe, I want to be rich, you're going to get that back. If you're sending out to the universe, I hate my job, this job sucks, you're going to get that back. You're going to get more jobs that you hate. You're going to get more jobs that suck, all right? That's why you have to focus on what you want. You have to tell God what you want. That's a form of prayer. Thinking about what you want all day long, you become your thoughts. What we think, we become. If you think my life sucks and I'm not going to get anywhere, that's what you're going to get. If you think I want to be successful and you hang around people that push you in that direction, that's what you're going to get. But if you hang around low-level energy people, if you hang around low-frequency vibrational people who don't believe in uh, uh, becoming successful, who don't believe in using their talents and their gifts to uh, get the good out of life that God uh, gave them that they deserve, then it's going to lower your frequency and you're not going to be able to get what you want because hanging around those people is going to drain you. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make you depressed and you're not going to be able to go after what you want in life. You're going to be drained. You're not going to have the energy to go do those things. You're not going to have the energy to make those dreams a reality. Okay. And you don't want that. So you're going to want to be around high frequency people. You're going to want to put yourself around high vibrational people. Okay. And that is why the universal law of vibe. That's why we're talking about the universal law of vibration and how it applies to your world and how it affects your life. Okay. Positive energy. All right. Back to it. We live in an ocean of motion. All right. Positive energies attract positive energies. Basic stuff. All right, folks. Basic stuff. Positive energies attract positive energies. Negative energies attract negative energies. All right. Our thoughts are on a certain vibrational level frequency all right you either have a strong positive thought or you either have a weak ass negative thought but don't be fooled and that's that whole judas thing in the bible but that's another video don't let allow how you momentarily feel into fooling yourself that that's real okay our thoughts are on a certain vibrational frequency something may happen you may feel a certain way but that negative feeling doesn't have to stay that negative feeling isn't the truth of you that negative feeling is only it's only momentarily. It's only. It's. It's not forever. It's not going to last long. You're going to be feeling good uh, in a little while, and if you use these techniques, you can feel good instantly, instantaneously. All right. Our thoughts depend on what thoughts and depend on what frequency you're putting out. Okay. Our thoughts are on a certain vibrational frequency, which is a part of the vibrating universe. We are one. You are not separated from God. You are not separated from the universe. Our thoughts are on a certain frequency, which is part which is a part of the vibrating universe, okay? Our thoughts are cosmic waves of energy. You send out thoughts all day, every day. That's why it's important to watch certain content. That's why it's important to take in certain content because certain things are programming your mind to believe certain things, to push those thoughts into reality, to create that and make it real. When you could be pushing out your own thoughts and creating your own reality, okay? Our thoughts are cosmic waves of energy that penetrate time and space, penetrate all time and space. Okay, that's power right there. Look for the God within. All right, look for the prayer warrior within. You can say whatever you are thinking, however you are feeling, you are sending that out into the universe. So why not send out some good so you can get some good back? Why not send out I am wealthy so you can get wealth back? Why not send out I am healthy so you can get health back? Don't send out this hurts, that hurts, that's not doing good. It's only going to make it worse. All right. The thought is used the, as the most potent vibe. The thought is used to attract what you want and what you wish for. Your thought is the most potent vibration. Okay. 
Your thought is the most potent vibration. All right. Your thought is a vibration. Your thought is a frequency. All right. Your thought is used to attract what you want and what you wish for. Your thoughts are a form of prayer. When you send your thoughts out to God, when you send your thoughts out to the universe, when you send your prayer out to God, when you send your prayer out to the universe, whatever you send out, that's what you're going to get back. You send out good, you'll get that back. That's why you can't wish things on people without it happening to yourself. That's why it's not good to wish bad on people. You wish bad on somebody, it's only going to come back on you. It's not even going to hit them. Thoughts used, all right, positive people attract positive people, all right? You can attract positive people with your thoughts. You can attract negative people with your thoughts. That's why it's important to have a positive mindset. That's why it's important to have thoughts that are vibrating on a positive frequency so you can attract those positive people. You don't want to be out here thinking people are all bad just because you have one bad experience. You want to. You don't want to be out here thinking people are all negative just because you have one bad negative experience. That's not healthy mindset. And we're here to help you renew your mind. We're here to help you live a positive lifestyle. We're here to help you make changes so that you can be your best version, okay? And you can't be your best version and make connections and, and meet people and make business partners and, and, and have a successful life if you don't have successful thoughts, if you don't have positive thoughts, if you're not attracting the right positive people in your life, all right? The law of attraction and the law of vibration go hand in hand, all right? The law of vibration states that thoughts and emotions are vibrating out into the universe, all right? That's how your thoughts are used to attract what you want because your thoughts and your emotions are vibrating out into the universe. What you think and what you feel is literally creating your life, all right? Like attracts like. You can alter your life by your thoughts and your emotions. If you don't like the way something's going, think something different. Think of a different feeling. And watch you attract what you want instead of what you don't want. You, you, it's so easy for you to fall into the trap because you, you're so used to feeling what you don't want. And you may have been focusing on what you don't want for so long. You're just That's what that's the normal for you. But just because you experience something that you don't want doesn't mean you, you have to. it has to become your focus. So if you don't focus on what you don't want, you're not going to get what you don't want. If you focus on what you want, that's what you're going to get. Focus on, think about the positive experiences that you had. Yes, there are negative experiences in life, but you want to think about the positive ones. You want to focus on the positive ones to draw more positive experiences into your life. All right, excuse me, I'll take a water break, y'all. Let me sip this water right quick. All right, we, how y'all? I hope y'all having a good day. Hope y'all having a positive day. And I hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Ooh, that was good. All right, y'all. Drew Tube got a little thirsty, y'all. Out here giving y'all this good game right here. Got a little thirsty, all right? Okay. Back to it. We're programmed from childhood days, y'all. All the, all the people who thought they might have been doing us good. All the people who unconditionally, unconsciously programmed us by default. TV, shows, cartoons, movies. We're programmed from, top, from childhood days and other unconscious mind to form thoughts and emotions about worry and fear and scarcity and so on. All right. We are taught early on to be afraid. Uh, don't do that. You'll get hurt. Uh, we don't have enough money for that. Money doesn't grow on trees. Whatever, excuse me. Whatever you think, that's going. Whatever you feel, that's what you're going to make real for yourself. If you think and feel that uh, you're not going to have enough, you're not going to have enough. If you think and feel that uh, you need to worry about uh, how you're going to get this or how you're going to take care of that, then that's what you're going to create for yourself. You're going to create situations to where you're, you become worried about what you uh what you need and from looking down nature i don't see any of these animals or these birds out here worrying and god didn't make us any different than the birds the birds are uh what do they call it obeying god the birds are righteous they're uh vibrating on their frequency because they know that god they know that nature is going to provide everything that they need they know that they can they're not going to need anything they know that they're not going to be wanting anything they know they're not going to be suffering everything that they need that they need is taken care of 
they can find this and make a home. They can find that and get something to eat. They don't lack anything. They're not vibrating on the frequency of lack because they know that everything they need is going to be out there. And how are we different than the birds? It's a mindset, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. God's even trying to tell you. God tried to tell you before I did. <laughs> how are we different than the birds, man? It's all about your mindset. That's the, the like, if, if you could formulate the mindset of the bird in terms of being out in nature, right? That's you being out in the world. And the bird being out in nature, being able to go out and find what it needs, that's you not having to worry about what God is going to do for you. That's you not having to worry about what good God is going to do in your life. How are we different than the birds? Because the birds go out and they see everything that they need. Everything they need is already there. It's no different for you in your life with money, houses, cars, everything. God knows what you need. It's already yours, okay? According to your belief, so be it unto you. Your thoughts and your feelings are going to attract your reality. They're going to create your reality, okay? It's getting real. All those TV shows, all those movies, all those programs. You know how many TV shows, if you go back, those programs are wicked, yo. They teach you to say things like you hate your life. They teach you to say things like you hate yourself. They teach you to say things like, I give up. You know what I'm saying? They teach you that things aren't going to work out. So many negative programs and bad sayings and spells, right? Spells in those TV shows, man. You're either a good witch or a bad witch in terms of which you're speaking, okay? You have the power to speak things into existence. Jesus said life and death is in the tongue, okay? So that's why you can't be out here just saying oh, anything because you're creating that for yourself. By changing your thoughts and your feelings, you can attract what you want. The law of vibration states that think about your dream as if it already happened, okay? See it as if it already came to, into existence. According to your belief, so be it unto you. If you see your dreams and your goals and the things you want to manifest as already happening, if you see it as already being in existence, if you see yourself as the greatest ball player, you see yourself as the most popular YouTuber, you see yourself as the best producer there is, that's what you are. And no, can't nobody tell you otherwise. I watch my back out here. I don't know. I'm always protected and never neglected, okay? But the thing is, what we were saying is, okay, you you have to see your dream as if it already happened. See yourself as the best axeman. See yourself as the best gymnast. See yourself as the best swimmer. See yourself as the best bodybuilder. Whatever you see for yourself, that's what you're going to get if you're working on something. See it as already done. See it as already completed. Here, see your music being played on the radio. See your beats being passed around to the most hottest artists. That's what I see for myself, and it's going to happen. I'm not worried about when or how or why, but I know it's going to happen, and I'm happy, and that's how I'm going to receive it because I already believe that I can, and I know it's on the way, all right? And that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about my dream as if it already happened, all right? The law of vibration, all right? That's the law of vibration, y'all. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this uh, video was informative. I hope everybody took something special out of this video. I hope a lot of people were able to get what they needed out of this video. I hope this video helped people. Um, I want these videos to be able to help people because that's what I love to do at the end of the day. I want to make sure everybody could live the best life that they want to live and everybody could be successful because that I want what I see for myself for everybody else, all right? So... I hope this video, hope you watch this video to the very end. Like I said in the beginning, this was a, a very, 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 very powerful video. You might want to run this back, take notes, uh, study this video, share it, replay it over and over again until it clicks. Because I'm telling you, this is how you do it, y'all. This video is was very informative. I hope everybody uses this video to their advantage. And I hope everybody has a great day. Hope everybody has a powerful evening. Hope everybody is out there attracting what they want and creating their reality. And knowing that uh, if you believe that God wants you to have the best life possible, and if you have a pure heart and you have a righteous spirit and you're not out here out to get people and you believe in God and his word and you want the best for yourself as you do for everybody else, you're going to make it out here because God blesses all everybody with a righteous heart that loves him you're going to prosper if you love god and you love righteousness all right with that being said everybody go out enjoy some nature get your vibration right get your mind right 
speak life into existence, speak good things into existence. And with that being said, this has been another Drew 2 special God's Chosen Vessel. We out. Take it easy, y'all. Stay blessed.